So when we put this radio on, which happens to be on 19, it's playing me some pop music, badly deviated from probably 35 miles away at Nottingham. So today, and that's what's useless about CB and why you can't do one nine a copy anymore. So on a President Jackson 2 Classic, it came in, it's a new set, it came in for optimization, and it was doing 2.9 watts on FM and AM, and it's now doing 3.6. And it receives spot on 0 0.3 microvolts, I think we've got it to 0 0.28, something like that for 12 decibel cyanide. Um, deviation was horrendously low at 1.4 kilohertz, and that's now brought up to 2.2 to 2.5. Um, if you haven't seen the tune-up video on this, bear in mind we don't do SSB radios, this is an SSB capable radio and we haven't touched the SSB circuits nor are we testing them, it is nothing to do with us, we've done the AM and the FM part of it as per the service manual. So, um, here we go, let's see whether Mr Chippy is out there. Tango 21, Mr Chippy, do you copy? Excellent. The needle hardly moves. I wonder why. Anyway, that's how it is. Uh, right, are you on your way? Yep, Roger, just setting off now. I'm just wondering if this uh, set slow to going to transmit with it being a bit colder today. No, spot on at the moment. Oh, Roger that. Right, just coming up to the end of the lane. Roger. Got you at the end of the lane. Roger got you at Ancaster service station and I've got the problem with the uh, meter, it was actually in SWR test mode. Right, okay. I'm glad it's not moving watching SWR test mode then. Absolutely right. Right, we're now square wheeled at Ancaster Crossroads. Roger got you at Ancaster Crossroads. Roger got you at the top of the hill. Roger going around Scratchy Corner at Willsford, and I'm on a President Jackson 2 Classic, and it is doing 3.6 watts over. Roger that, all received, nice strong signal, nice clear audio. Thank you. Roger got you going over Willsford level crossing. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. Let's see if we can drop the squelch. The answer not really. Roger got you going out of a Grayley's level crossing, also known as Rosby level crossing and probably other things as well. That's where the test concludes, thank you very much. Yep, Roger, no problem. Ten ten. Ten ten. Yeah, that worked um, like any other set to be honest. Um, squash hysteresis could do with being better. It's a bit choppy but we noticed that when we did the squash adjustment that it was in at something like 0 0.6 of a microvolt and then it was back out again at 0 0.55 or something like that the way around. So it, it was uh, a pretty limited range of hysteresis so it doesn't track those signals as well as some sets do. So there you are, that's what you get. You get 3.6 watts. That was, if you saw the previous video, we did put it under the Zitagi meter and it did 4.5 Zitagi watts. So we'll go over to our... Um, 
Harrier CBHQ base station and see what it sounds like. Tango 21, testing the President Jackson 2 Classic into our Harrier CBHQ base station on the factory original microphone testing 12345 5432 1 and thanks for watching.